Hello, everybody. This is the What is on the Tabletop podcast. My name is Symbio Joe. You can call me Joe. And I have no guest today. That is because I want to talk to you about my first edition Kill Team's Stahlheim mod. And I call it a mod in the sense of, well, like a video game mod because it just tweaks some rules, changes it but it does not change the whole game overall and I think it is very easy to implement and I want to talk about how it came to be and what it is and maybe if you are interested in trying it out. When I bought the first edition of Kill Team back in the day and opened it I saw this little uh, 22 by 30 cardboard battlefield you are supposed to play on and I I would not have that. <laughs> I played all my games on a 48 by 48 inches uh, battle mat and I enjoyed it and I liked it very much but with a bigger size well comes greater distances and of course Kill Team had the little cardboard playing field in mind. I think uh, the second edition does it way better than the first one did, but that is another can of worms. We are not getting into that today. So I made some minor tweaks to how the movement works, mainly the charge. It is a little less random, way less random and might go further depends on what model you are playing and what i also did not like was uh, the fact that you are just covering heights with no with, with no difficulty at all so I added some rules for climbing and of course where you climb you may fall and the more time players if some of them are still out there or remember more time I added the jump attack and the attack interruption again so far uh, these two are not very well tested but they work as intended I would say I did change the result of the injury roll from a 4 plus taken out of action to a 5 plus taken out of action that was actually a significant change in the lethality of the game or the game mechanics and well, obviously models don't die as fast now, but it uh, helped to stop the spiraling of the game in one favor of one player. And you have to try that out for yourself if you like it or if you don't like it. If you think it slows down the game too much, just turn it back to a... 4 plus. What I also did not like about the first edition was the moral system. The fact that after you are you have the model has lost its nerve, it could do nothing is very unsatisfying in my eyes. And also it enhanced the spiraling down for the losing team. It always appeared to me in uh, Kill Team First Edition, when you lose, you lose hard. And uh, I did not put in any rubber banding. If you lose, you, well, might still losing, but uh, not as terrible as in the First Edition. So I did write a whole new moral system and well not whole new but i adjusted it i wrote a new result table for failed moral tests and that added greatly to the game in my opinion 
And now we are already down to how you build your team in the Stahlheim mod. You have 200 points. That is twice the amount of points you have in the original core rulebook. And that is because of the fact that I adjusted the points. I adjusted all the points in the core rulebook and for the Sisters of Battle. Why only for the Sisters of Battle and not everything else? Well, one of the players that was testing this rule set was a player of the Adeptus Orators, so it would be not very nice of me to just say, oh no, you can't play those, I won't bother with those, and yeah. I went the extra two steps and put the Adeptus Orators in. Why did I adjust the rules, uh, the rules, the points? I adjusted the points because it did not feel right to me to have a lot of zeros there. You can change out a lot of equipment for zero points and g get equipment for zero points and the point range of I think 5 to 25 points for all the models in the core rule box and well they are all fairly basic infantry grunt units but there are some exceptions in there as you might think and I I could not wrap my head around that the 5 to 25 point scale is a good range of points to represent these models what else changed? You are allowed to put three other models from a different faction in your kill team. And that is a very liberal and free written rule. And you will find some more of those in the entire PDF I put out there. And that is because I wanted players to represent the kill team they want to play as good as they they wanted to and I also had a testing group that is not very much of into min maxing so if you see something that looks very exploitable and not thought through you might be right because that was none of my concern and none of the concern of my players so if you see anything that looks too liberal and too exploitable to you just cut it out just narrow it down talk with the group you're playing with about it and that is what you should do when you use this mod this mod uh, does not cover all the bases and you will have to do some work of your own. Now you might have back in your mind, wait, I could take different models from other factions in my kill team. It would just be a open play or a narrative play. I could not use command points and tactics in that case. Well, yes, let me tell you, in this mod there are no command points and there are no tactics. I am not a friend of the... Well, that is, is a bit harsh. I am not a, friend, not a friend of all the tactics and of the command point usage right now. So I did cut it all out. Mainly because I see it as a major point of slowing down the game. So, yeah, that is actually a big one. You have no command points in this game and as a result no tactics. If you like those very much, you can very easily put them back in. You just, well, have to cut out my experience and ability system. And with that uh, 
former Mordheim players might find something they remember here. I basically did cut out the experience and ability system of the Heart of Mordheim and uh, put it back in the chest of Kill Team 1st Edition. So you have a list of abilities. You can choose uh, three of them for every model you have. And it, if it gains experience, it might gain uh, abilities. It also can gain increasements in its stat lines, which Kill Team did not per se. I think you could get a better ballistic skill and a better weapon skill. And uh, a, with the Stahlheim mod you can get a plus to a tech and uh, morale and wounds and toughness and so on and so forth. You, you, you get it. And yeah, if you remember back in the day or you played more time, you might remember, wait, there was a certain limitation of ability fields one warband could pick out of. I did let that open because I, as again, wanted the player of the kill team to have maximum customization to their kill team. If while you're playing you find out that, for example, orcs should not have the stealth trait at all, or space marines should not be able to have access to the ferocity ability because, well, it just unbalances the game or pushes it hugely in their favor, just talk with your mates about it and cut it out, change things. As I, you can do what you want and you should. And with that said, the injury table of more time is also back. I, of course, did modify it a little bit to the modern uh, needs of a sci-fi skirmish, but I think some of the main injuries are, are still there. And of course, with an alien physique, not everything might fit your model. Uh, Tyranid that suffers the loss of one arm might not necessarily suffer the same results as a model with only two arms. But again, that is something you can discuss with your gaming group and of course you should. What else returned is the income. You can earn money or well resources. Let's let's call it resources with the Stahlheim mod. You have certain missions that allow you to collect resource markers and these resource markers are translated into points and with these points you can buy new models or buy models that sadly died. This increases, well, the, the size of your kill team. The limit is still 20 models, so if you are in the lux luxurious position to have already 20 models, you can just save up. Again, this is a point that was tested, but I am not 100% sure how this will work out in the so-called late game when all of your gangs are or all of your kill teams are close to maxed out what will happen in the very late game i do not know i me and my group we have not tested this far there's also a little change to the psychic powers just uh an addition of some uh, psychic powers every psyker can use. 
and I changed the Psy Bolt because I am not a fan of Mortal Wounds. Then we have the missions. The missions are eight. Um, yeah, there are eight missions and ten, oh, well, not ten, nine random mission modifiers you can have. And yeah, they are self-explaining, I hope. You should read through it, look what's going on. I also changed uh, the scouting phase. The scouting phase pretty much is now... Uh, modifiers that benefit your team this uh, well I hide my decision and you hide your decision you not necessarily need to do that you can do that if you want to it de it depends or just the both of you looking at those uh, options and one says yeah I take that one and the other one says yeah I take that one that is as good as hiding it until you use it you can you can decide how you want to manage that and uh, there is also no opposing strategy so there is no i take x and it is countered by y all the options you have now in the scouting phase are a bonus for your team or a modification that might help you yeah and that's it that is all I have changed maybe some words to how you create your kill team with the new points if you for example buy or change a weapon for a model that is cheaper that the model already has it is basically a zero switch if you buy a gun that is more expensive you pay the difference of the equipment the model already owns say you buy a bolter for a heavy bolter for a model that already owns a bolter you pay the difference you don't pay what is listed you pay i think it is eight points instead of 15 might be that but i think you catch what i'm on to there and all the space marines in uh, stahlheim have two wounds also the necron immortals have two wounds and that is also represented in the point costs yeah i think that's it i want to thank all the people who tested this with me i'd like to thank foxhound for the team roster oh yes the current team roster to play uh, Stahlheim with is German. You can, well, break out an old uh, more time roster if you find it on the internet. And, well, one more addition to that, you might see there is a difference in the possibilities of gaining experience points because everyone every model has the, the possibility to gain a lot of them and that is due to the fact that way in the day when uh, this was not a mod but very much a standalone game i and my friends tested out there was a situa situation where one guardsman who was a henchman killed itself through three chaos marines and in the end he just gained not a lot of experience points from that so we allowed every model to be a hero and have no 
selection into specialists and henchmen. Everyone can be a hero and should be a hero. And I think that adds to the game a little bit more of accounting, but also fun. And who doesn't like that? Another side note. Well, obviously there are no experience point trees like you have it in the core core rulebook they are gone as well yeah and with that i am done with my little walkthrough of my little mod i hope after you download it you actually are able to get some games in and maybe convince someone else you mod it yourself as i said along the way do what you want and you should do. And that's it. Goodbye, everybody.